Did you know these party boxes can actually give you 50 times the value you're looking for if you do this strategy? There are various ways of doing this. Let's say if you are able to go in a private server, you would go to world number N24. But if you are in a public server, you would definitely want to go to world number 123 so that you won't have other people stealing your loot. For the enchants, all you really need is basically your treasure hunter and your damage. For the potions, it's the exact same thing, damage and treasure hunter. Keep in mind, the possible events from a party box are coin jars, comets, pinatas, and lucky blocks. As you can see right here, the lucky block has just spawned and it's only worth around 5,000 but that's still a ton of profit seeming that these party boxes are only worth 800 or less. Right here, I will actually spawn a pinata and you can see why this is actually very overpowered since the party box is only worth 800 and the pinatas are worth 52,000 right now and look at that. The amount of gift bags I actually got is crazy, let's say that's around 50,000. And again, these party boxes are only worth 800, which means you've nearly made 50 times the amount of money you actually spent. You can of course just sell those gift bags, those items straight up in the trading plaza, or you could decide to open those gift bags and try to make even more profit from those since these gift bags are actually very profitable. Since you actually get coin jars and comets, you not only make profit, but you can actually raise your achievements right here for the comets and the breaking the coin jars. And you of course have your ranks over here on the right side. So opening these party boxes helps you rank up, helps you get your achievements, and actually makes you a ton of diamonds. If you guys found this video very helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below and comment your username as I will be giving away 1 million gems to one lucky subscriber.